cats have a pretty massive vocabulary of sounds. I mean, the, over a hundred have been identified as being distinct from one another. And that's more than double the amount that dogs have, not that I'm being cat-centric, but if the cat fits. Anyway, today we are gonna concentrate on one little component of the cat vocalization spectrum, and that is the angry cat sounds, because you guys ask me a lot about those sounds, so I figured why not run them down. Now in the meantime, a couple of things. If you're looking to know all about all cat sounds, pause this video, go to this video up here, because that's all of them, or all the ones that I know anyway. And we even did one on the meow by itself, and you can see that link in the description. Second point is what you're about to hear, you may want to put headphones on just in case you have cats in the house. Apparently, there are videos out there that are like an hour long that is nothing but angry cat sounds, and they are designed to get your cat's attention or whatever that means. Shame on you, man. What the hell? I mean, that's like having an hour of air raid sirens and tornado warnings and War of the Worlds, the aliens are coming just for humans to get our attention and to drive us under the bed. So please don't do that. And you know, if you have sensitive cats, put headphones on. Now let's get to it. Angry cat sounds. Now, if you're looking for a catalog of angry cat sounds, you might want to go no farther than my TV show, My Cat from Hell. <laughs> yeah, check that out. But in the meantime, I want to start breaking down the individual sounds that make up angry. Now, the first one that is the one that we probably all think about first is the hiss. Now I see the hiss as being that first line of defense. And when I say first line of defense, it's when a cat is getting to the point where they're feeling threatened, that first step of threat, where it's like, uh, I don't think this is good. So I'm gonna give you a warning, you know, because we're gonna go, cats will usually go, warning, 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 before first claws come out, then claws come out, then teeth come out. It's a reminder that cats are not by nature offensive animals. They are by na nature defensive. They have territory, they're gonna defend it. They also don't wanna get beat up. <laughs> they also are very keenly aware that they reside right in the middle of the food chain. It's like, I'm scared of you, so I'm gonna make you scared of me. It's a little bit of a posture. It's a little bit of, let's face it, it's, it's a little bit of this, you know, because I'm trying to protect myself. So all of this vocabulary when it comes to angry cat sounds also acts as scared cat sounds because there is this level of graduation between scared and all right, I got no choice, I gotta go for it. In different cats, it goes in different orders. So it can go hiss, growl, spit. It could go spit, hiss, growl. It's all up to the individual cat how they learned how to make these sounds when they were little kittens. So the that's pretty good, right? Don't expect me to imitate every one of these things, but the hiss is pretty easy. So that's our first line of defense for your cat is the hiss. Next up in terms of those angry cat sounds is the growl. The growl is that low guttural. You know, it's just that, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Now, I put the hiss first, but the growl can absolutely come before the hiss. It is that like, yeah, I'm not feeling so good about you. I'm not feeling so, <sighs> you know, so. <sighs> it's more of that like, that externalization of like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, no. I don't like this one. That's a growl. So the next one up is the spit. Now, not all cats will spit, but I will say that really in high stress uh, moments, that's when you'll hear it. You know, when they've really just gotten to that point where I I'm really in danger here, or I'm really, really scared. And I think that, that we always have to keep coming back to the fact that angry sounds can, can overlap with scared sounds at the same time. 
One last thing I haven't spoken about is overstimulation. And you might have seen one of your cats who's very prone to petting-induced overstimulation, that you're petting, you're petting, you're petting, and it goes from the purr, and uh, okay, I'm enjoying this, and then a, a light switch flicks, and there's the hiss, and then they run away. Cats have what's called a sympathetic nervous system, which is to say what happens here happens here almost simultaneously. If it happens here, it comes out here. If your cat goes from the happy to the hiss in the bat of an eye, whatever you're doing, don't do it anymore. Now, just like the hiss, a spit can also be the product of surprise or shock. And a lot of times you'll hear the hiss spit within one breath. It's like if I get really surprised and listen, I've got the mouth of a sailor. If I get really surprised, you got that string of curse words that come out without even thinking. That's kind of what the hiss spit is if there's a real shock. And we're not done yet. There's more sounds that have surprise built into them. If you want to not hear me hiss and spit and growl and yowl and snarl and everything else, subscribe to this channel. It's an easy way to get a purr out of me. And if you really want to hear a loud purr, then hit the bell and make sure uh, that you leave a little thumbs up too. Now the growl is not the only owl in a cat's vocabulary. There are still a couple of owls left. And I don't mean that owl because I've really, I've never heard a cat hoot before. So now we get into the howl slash yowl. I will go on record saying I think the howl and yowl happen at the same time and express the same type of emotion. Now, if you don't know what a howl sounds like or a yowl, allow me. Oh, 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 oh. I know that sounds a little bit like a coyote, but it, it, it depends on where it comes out of. We're talking to coming out of a cat. Anyway, the howl yowl, again, I don't, we may associate this with an angry sound. And yes, it happens in the same sort of circumstances that we'll see when there's an overlap between aggressive and fearful, offensive and defensive. I'm, I'm pulling out all the stops here to actually scare you off. Or at the same time though, I'm really getting to the point where I'm afraid for my own safety, you know? So that's when I will hear that howl, that yowl, when the threat is just getting bigger and bigger by the moment. But now when it's like, let's say there's another cat coming at them and they're cornered and we're into that slow motion moment before something happens, there's like the, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you know, that. <laughs> Man, I just see like this super cut of all of these horrible sounds I'm making like on TikTok and I will never live it down, so. <laughs> Anyways, other reasons why a cat may howl or yowl. If they are wounded after a fight, even in the case of a cat who's been hit by a car and that kind of thing, and they're really using their last reserves to put out a sound, that's when you would hear that. It, it can be a really plaintive sound, something that just, sometimes a really heartbreaking sound, but again, it depends on the context. A lot of times we'll see this in older cats, and it's something where it's based in confusion that a lot of, of cognitively dysfunctional cats, uh, when the lights go out at night, they will suddenly get completely disoriented, not know where they are. That's when you would hear a howl or a yowl. It's almost like, hello, I'm trapped in a ravine kind of sound. Not to make light of it at all, but that's when uh, you will hear the howl and yowl in the context of dementia. If your cat is prone to the hissing and the spitting and the yowling, the growling and the howling and every other quote unquote angry sound, don't forget that most of those sounds have an underlying stress component to them. And in that case, I really recommend my product. This is uh, my flower essence remedy called Stress Stopper. It's something that if you're gonna have one of these things in your home, this would be that thing. Uh, it's pretty much what I call energetic first aid for your cat. So if they experience any of those things that uh, fall into the category of the stuff I've been talking about in this episode, try Stress Stopper. You can find it in the link below at the Jack and Galaxy store. You know, one of the sort of even cartoony sounds that a cat will make that we associate with anger, with mean, with whatever, is the snarl. 
you know, that kind of thing. Almost like that tigery snarl. We would hear that in the context of, uh, of impending threat. And if you think about it, that cat being a big cat is puffing out my chest, man. I'm just like, you know what? Bring it, man. You know, that, that, that uh, now I'm going on the offensive. And as I'm moving forward, row, you know what I mean? Because I am, that is my last opportunity before we go for it. This is as close as I get to angry, scared diplomacy. Now the snarl is like, no, I demand that you pay attention to this. The last sound that, that we could put into the category of angry cat sounds, again, it's got so many layers to it, but it's the scream. It is the straight up like, you know, that sound. And I have read from scholarly folk, uh, mind you, other contexts for a scream, but as far as I'm concerned, that time where you will hear a scream is during a cat fight. You will hear it in the middle of the night, the thing that wakes you up because you hear a sound in the street, the, the cat's screaming. They're not gonna bother with the hiss and the spit and the growl and the yowl and, and the snarl and all that. No, it's time to throw down. that context, it's just where it all boils forward. Offensive, defensive, anger, fear, whatever you want to say, and then just, ow, this hurts at the same time. All that put together is the cat scream. So if you hear a cat screaming, then you really should pay attention. If it's in the other room and you have, you know, multiple cats or cats and dogs or cats and kids or whatever that is, pay attention, go into that other room. You hear it in the middle of the night, you hear it outside, do everyone a favor and just poke your head out and say, hey, do something, clap your hands, try to get those cats separated because nothing good is coming out of that cat scream. One sound that you guys may be thinking about that you're like, wait a minute, Jackson, you missed one, but I think you'd be mistaken in putting it into the angry category is the catter wall. often associated with both males and females who are not spayed or neutered and it's mating time and it's either males searching for a mate or the female saying, hey, I'm right here. It's that, uh, on, I, I don't even want to imitate, okay, I'll try it. I mean, it sounds like a dog, werewolf, you know, whatever, but it is that cry for mating, you know? It is, it is the Marco Polo <laughs> of cat mating. And you could put quotes around that. But anyway, whatever it is, it has nothing to do with being angry unless sexual frustration counts as angry, which, Hmm, never mind. Okay. <laughs> All of these vocalizations can overlap, can come in different orders, can come out of context completely based on a cat's early life experience and their experience with cats along the way that dialect changes. Uh, so th this is to say that just because I'm saying this is where those sounds come in doesn't necessarily mean that that's where your cat is going to use these tools. Pay attention to these things because again, it's not just angry, it's angry, it's, it's scared, it's surprised, it's confused. There's a lot of things rolled into this ball that we call angry cat sounds. Now in the meantime, I would love to know when your cat uses these sounds. So that's what the comments below are for. So make sure that you put something down there and uh, let me know when your cat makes these sounds because I'm sure that it'll be revelatory or at the very least kind of sort of amusing sometimes. My cat only snarls when he steals my pizza.
you know, that kind of thing. I'm just hoping for that anyway. Uh, and also, the, besides just putting uh, notes in the comments, you could also really do us a favor here at the channel and make sure that you subscribe and, and ring that bell, man, because that tells you when all types of new material is coming your way so you could be the first to know. And until next time, my good friends, I mean, I'm not angry when I say this, but I'll light, I'll love her, I'll cat mojo to you. I don't mean it, really. <laughs>